The movie opens by showing a woman who has problems with her mental health. This woman is seen burning down a farmhouse and then two policemen come looking for her whereabouts and find her. Then the police take this woman named Kristen to a mental hospital. When she got there, Kristen changed her clothes and was escorted by an officer there named Roy. Roy escorted Kristen to a nurse to check Kristen's data and name. After that, this nurse escorted her to a room that used to be occupied by someone named Tammy, and now this room belongs to Kristen. At night, Kristen was seen sleeping in the room. Suddenly, Kristen's blanket fell by itself as if someone was pulling it, until finally Kristen woke up from her sleep. Then she checked down and found a broken bracelet there until finally Kristen took and kept the bracelet. In the morning, a doctor named Stringer suddenly entered Kristen's room. Then he asked Kristen why she slept on the floor while other patients preferred to sleep in bed. After that, Kristen explained what happened to her last night, but the doctor did not believe and thought that it was Kristen's hallucination. So suddenly a nurse named Lunt gave Kristen a sedative, but instead of taking it, Kristen threw it away because she felt that she was fine. This made Lunt upset because Kristen did not want to obey the rules there. And in the end, Lunt left Christina on Dr. Stringer's orders. Kristen also met other patients who had been there for a long time before Kristen. Among others, there were Iris, Emily, Sarah, and Zoe. When Kristen entered and walked suddenly, she was stopped by a patient named Emily and asked Kristen if her purpose here was to save them from the disturbance of the ghost that terrorized them while joking. After that, a woman named Iris came to greet Kristen while introducing herself to Kristen. After that, an officer named Roy came to pick up Kristen to meet the doctor. When she got there, the doctor asked why Kristen burned down the ranch house, but Kristen didn't remember all of it, and the last thing she remembered was the fire, but she didn't know about the house she burned down. Until finally, Roy took Kristen to her room to rest and was given a sedative, but Kristen did not take the medicine and hid it under her pillow. At night, Kristen tried to escape from the mental hospital, but unfortunately her action was known by Roy, who guarded the place for 24 hours, until Roy finally caught Kristen and took her to the room. When Kristen was lying down suddenly, there was a creepy figure who passed in front of Kristen's bedroom door to make her scared. The following night, during which time, they were temporarily set free. Seen other patients who have now become Kristen's friends, are enjoying music while dancing. But in the midst of their cheerfulness, suddenly the electricity in the place suddenly went off and a supernatural spirit figure of a woman appeared who was so creepy that it scared them. And Zoe was seen hugging Kristen because she was afraid of the incident. Not only that, the next morning again something very surprising happened to Kristen. Where Kristen and her friends were seen bathing, but suddenly the supernatural spirit came and this time she attacked Kristen. Hearing the sound of Kristen's screams, Lunt came to calm her down, but again and again the nurse thought that what happened to Kristen was just her hallucination, so in the end she injected a sedative into Kristen, and then took her to the therapy room. Then Dr. Stringer gave Kristen electric shock therapy with the aim of recovering all her memories. And after the therapy, Kristen was escorted to her room to rest. The next morning a patient named Iris gets the news that she will be released from the mental hospital because of the development that she experienced, Iris has begun to improve and normal. Then Iris went to Dr. Stringer's room because the doctor wanted to ask Iris a few questions before she was released while hypnotizing her with a metronome device. Until finally the doctor left Iris alone in the room because it seemed that Iris had started to get sleepy and fell asleep due to the influence of the therapy. Not long after that came an officer, Roy, who saw Iris was no longer there. So that makes Dr. Stringer confused, and it turns out that Iris was kidnapped by the devil spirit who attacked Kristen earlier. The evil spirit taking Iris to the morgue and attacking her there until finally Iris died. In another scene shows a patient named Zoe, very worried because she knows Iris has not returned from earlier, because Zoe is afraid that the same thing that happened to Tammy who disappeared and never returned will happen to Iris. And Kristen tries to calm Zoe. The next morning, Kristen is seen looking for Iris's whereabouts because she feels worried about her. But no one cares about Kristen until finally she goes into Iris's room and finds Iris's painting book. And in the book, there is a painting of a woman named Alice. And it turns out that the bracelet found by Kristen belongs to Alice. It turns out that the evil spirit that attacked her all this time was Alice. 
until finally Kristen went to Dr. Stringer's room to ask for an explanation of who Tammy and Alice were and why Alice always attacked and terrorized them. But instead of answering Kristen's questions, the doctor told Kristen to find out all these things herself. At night, Kristen tried to escape along with Emily by entering a tunnel from the bathroom. After exiting the tunnel, they were seen entering a mortuary to hide because their existence was known by Lunt. Inside the morgue, Kristen hid in a wardrobe. After coming out, Kristen immediately looked for Emily's whereabouts, but she didn't find her. Then there was a loud noise from the direction of the wardrobe, and after opening, it turned out to be Alice's ghost, and suddenly Kristen immediately ran scared. But when Kristen tried to run, suddenly this ghost was behind her. Until in the end, Kristen fainted and was unconscious after that incident. In the morning, suddenly Kristen woke up from sleep and was already in the room. Then she met Emily. Emily said that last night she was caught by Lund. Then Emily explained that it was impossible for them to get out of this place and would have the same fate as Iris. After that, they went to the hall, Kristen who was sitting there. Suddenly Sarah approached Kristen and mocked Kristen and Emily for their efforts to escape last night. After she was satisfied, Sarah came out of the hall while looking at herself because her hobby was always looking at herself everywhere and any time. And suddenly a creepy figure appeared behind her mirror, the ghost of Alice. Then Sarah ran to hide in the morgue, but unfortunately Alice's ghost caught Sarah and killed her with an electric shock from an electric therapy device. Kristen also realized that Sarah was missing, so in the end, Kristen forced her friends to tell her why Alice was always terrorizing and trying to kill them. While scared, Zoe told everything to Kristen. It turns out that they used to work together under the leadership of Tammy to finish off Alice, because Alice liked to bother them, and in the end, Alice died. Until she tried to avenge herself on them, including Kristen. Suddenly Emily ran and tried to kill herself because she felt that she had been cursed by Alice. Kristen tried to calm Emily down, but suddenly Alice's spirit came out and killed Emily. Seeing that incident, Kristen and Zoe, who did not want to die, they were so scared that Kristen came up with the idea of pretending to take Zoe hostage in order to get out of that place. But her efforts failed, and she was caught by the officers and injected with a tranquilizer liquid. Then Kristen was taken to a room by an officer and tied Kristen's hands so that she would not escape again, but with strong determination. Again and again Kristen tried to escape, and she managed to untie her hands and take Zoe away with her. Roy, who saw Kristen and Zoe trying to escape, tried to chase them both. Zoe entered a small elevator, and then Kristen followed Zoe in the small elevator. When she got out of the elevator, but Kristen couldn't find Zoe's whereabouts, and it turned out that Zoe had been caught and killed by Alice. Alice suddenly appeared and was about to attack Kristen. Kristen tried to escape and run, but suddenly Alice was already in front of her and continued to try to attack Kristen, until finally because there was no other choice, Kristen tried to fight Alice, and she managed to paralyze Alice with an axe. After successfully killing Alice, Kristen went to Dr. Stringer's room, and there she found Alice's files, and suddenly Dr. Stringer appeared, and Kristen tried to threaten the doctor to tell her about the real incident. After that, Dr. Stringer explained everything that happened to Kristen. He explained that it turned out that Kristen was Alice. She was deeply traumatized because she was kidnapped at the age of 11 and kept in a farmhouse for two months without food and water, and it was the house she burned at the beginning of the film. Until she was deeply traumatized and suffered from psychological illness by having multiple personalities, all the events that occurred in the film turned out to be Kristen's hallucinations. This happened because she was so traumatized that she was placed in this mental hospital for therapy. But the doctor said that Kristen had begun to accept peace in herself, and after hearing the explanation from the doctor, suddenly Kristen again hallucinated that Alice's ghost, which turned out to be herself, suddenly appeared and attacked her, which made Kristen jump out of the window. The officers immediately saw Kristen's condition. In the last scene, Alice is finally allowed to go home and is picked up by her parents who are waiting for her arrival, and the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.